A long time ago, when God himself used to walk on the earth with people, there was a time when he was very tired, and it got dark before he could reach an inn. There were two houses on the road ahead of him. One house was big and nice, and the other house was small and not as nice. The big house belonged to a rich man, and the small house belonged to a poor man. God thought, I won't be a problem for the rich man. I will stay the night at his house. Then the rich man heard someone knocking at his door. He opened the window and asked the stranger what he wanted. God said, I just need a place to stay for the night. Then the rich man looked at the traveller from top to bottom. The traveller was wearing regular clothes and didn't seem like someone with a lot of money. The rich man shook his head and said, No, I can't let you stay. My rooms are full of plants and seeds. If I let everyone in, I might not have enough for myself. You should find another place to stay. He closed the window and left the traveller outside. So the traveller turned away from the rich man's house and went to the small house. He knocked on the door and the poor man opened it. The poor man said, Come in and spend the night with us. It's already dark and you can't travel any more tonight. The traveller was happy with this invitation, so he went inside. The poor man's wife greeted him and made him feel welcome. She said he could make himself at home and eat what they had. Even though they didn't have a lot, they were willing to share. The wife put some potatoes on the fire to cook and milked the goat to have a little milk. When everything was ready, they all sat down to eat. The traveller enjoyed the simple food because everyone was happy. After they finished eating and it was time for bed, the woman spoke to her husband privately. She suggested that they make a bed of straw for themselves and let the traveller sleep in their bed. The traveller had been walking all day and must be tired. The husband agreed and went to ask the traveller if he would sleep in their bed. The traveller didn't want to take their bed, but they insisted until he finally agreed. He lay down in their bed while the old couple lay on straw on the floor. The next morning, they woke up really early, even before the sun was up, and made breakfast as good as they could for their guest. When the sunlight came through the little window and the Lord got up from bed, he ate breakfast with them again. Then he got ready to continue his journey. But before he left, he stood by the door, turned around and said, Since you've been so kind and good to me, you can ask for three things you want and I'll make them happen. The man thought for a moment and said, I want us to always be happy, healthy and have enough food every day as long as we live. For the third wish... I'm not sure. The Lord asked, Would you like a new house instead of this old one? The man was happy and said, Yes, I would really like that if possible. The Lord granted his wishes. He turned their old house into a new one, gave them his blessing again, and then continued on his journey. When the sun was high in the sky, the rich man woke up and looked out of his window. He saw a new and clean house with red tiles and bright windows on the other side of the road, where the old run-down hut used to be. He was really surprised and called his wife over. He asked her, Can you believe it? Last night, there was a tiny old hut there, and now there's a beautiful new house. Please go and find out how this happened. So the wife of the rich man went and asked the poor man what had happened. He told her that a traveller had come to their house yesterday evening, asking to stay the night. When the traveller left in the morning... He granted them three wishes, to always be happy, to stay healthy, and to have enough food every day. Plus, he gave them a new house instead of their old one. When the rich man's wife heard this, she hurried back to tell her husband. The husband was upset with himself. He said, I wish I had known about this. The traveller came to our house too and I turned him away. His wife told him to quickly get on his horse and catch up to the traveller, then he could ask for three wishes too. The rich man followed the advice and rode on his horse. He soon caught up with the Lord. He spoke to him politely and said he was sorry for not letting him in earlier. He explained that he was looking for his house key and by the time he found it, the traveller had left. He asked the traveller to stay at his house if he ever came back that way. The traveller agreed. Then the rich man asked if he could also have three wishes, like his neighbour had. Sure, said the traveller, you can ask for three things, but it might not be the best idea. It's okay if you don't wish for anything. However, the rich man believed he could wish for something that would make him happy, as long as he knew it would come true. 
So the traveller told him to go home, and the three wishes he made would come true. The rich man got what he wanted, so he rode back home and started thinking about what he should wish for. While he was lost in thought, he accidentally dropped the reins, and his horse started jumping around. This made it hard for him to think clearly. He tried to calm the horse by patting its neck and saying, Easy, Lisa, but the horse just kept acting up. The rich man got frustrated and said angrily, I wish your neck was broken. Right after he said that, the horse fell to the ground and died. His first wish had come true. Since he didn't want to leave the horse's harness behind, he took it off and carried it on his back. Now he had to walk on his own. He reminded himself that he still had two wishes left, and that made him feel a bit better. As he walked slowly through the hot sand, he started feeling grumpy and mad because the sun was so hot. His back hurt from the saddle, and he didn't know what to wish for yet. He thought, Even if I wish for all the riches in the world, I'll still want more things later. I know that will happen. He wanted to make sure he wouldn't have anything left to wish for. He sighed and thought about a man who had three wishes before. That man wished for a lot of beer, then even more beer, and then a barrel of beer. He thought he found a good wish a few times, but each time it felt like it wasn't enough. Then he thought about how his wife had an easy life, staying in a cool room and having fun. This made him annoyed. Without thinking, he said, I wish she was sitting on this saddle instead of me carrying it. Suddenly, the saddle disappeared, and he realised his second wish came true. He got really hot and started running home. He wanted to be alone to think about a big wish for the last time. But when he got home and opened the door, he saw his wife sitting on the saddle, crying and stuck. He told her to bear with it because he was going to wish for all the riches on earth for her. He wanted her to stay there. His wife called him silly and said riches wouldn't help if she had to stay on the saddle. She told him to help her get off. So, even though he didn't want to, his third wish had to be that she could get off the saddle. Right away, she was free from the saddle. In the end, he didn't get what he wanted. Instead, he got annoyed, had problems and lost his horse.